Good morning, everybody. Relic Rat here. Once again, it's about three o'clock in the afternoon on a Sunday afternoon. Got myself, Justin McGee, sister Rhonda behind the camera. <clears throat> She's got an umbrella. I don't have my sunglasses with my readers in them because I wouldn't be able to see anything. It's dark, it's thundering. We're in the rain. Uh, counter Bob's at 1510. 1510, we're at old schoolhouse here in middle Georgia, right by the road. Um, I think it was built around 1915. Been, been gone for a long time. May have burned 30, 40 years ago. I can't remember. Um, we're going to dig up the ground and see what we can find. We'll get back with you. Pull tab. Uh, Big old. Another one. Yep. Pull tab holder. Another pull tab. <laughs> Good target right here under the under the lightning. We counted this four or five miles away. I don't know if that's safe or not, but. Part of what the problem is, big old chunk of iron. Not sure what. Something. Something big and rusty and dirty. Anyway, see if there's a better target in the ground. Better target in there below that iron. Just gotta get to it. I got it out. Maybe we got a little brass something something. Maybe we got to pull it. Back. I saw a little round something. I saw a cool little round something. How about that for chasing around? <laughs> How about that? How about that for chasing around under a big old iron target. Cool little flat button, y'all. Cool, cool wow. little flat button. I can't see because I don't have my glasses on. I don't want to get them out of my pocket because my, cause my uh, hands ah. are dirty. But that is very cool. And it's got some writing on it. We'll clean that up either in just a second with a toothbrush or at the truck and get back with you. Very cool. Very cool. All right, so... Cool little flat button here, got writing on the back. I'm gonna try to rub it, got my glasses out. Uh, try to rub on it a little bit and see what we can find under a bunch of, whoo, there's some more lightning, y'all. More lightning. I'm sure it says something guilted. Something, something, something. I can't read it. Um, hopefully that's not big enough to act as a lightning rod, but old brass copper flat button. Probably predates the school a little bit. Can't say that we could call that. That says D something. Anyway, we'll get you a name at the truck. Alright, so grass is a little little thicker here than we assumed it would be. I know what assuming does. So anyway, we're gonna dig a little longer. Find a couple more targets. Looking at it, whatever it is, this is my third hole of the day. First hole was after the iron. It's not a lock, is it? Nope. Big old chunk of a uh, big old chunk of plow equipment. Farm related, as they say. Oh no, no, no! I know what this is. That is not a piece of. That's something cooler than a piece of plow equipment. That is an old axe head. That's where the handle was. Axe was out here. And as usual, as I usually oh. show, where they beat on the back so it to, broke, uh, to split logs. Broke off. Broke off old axe. Wow. Very cool. We're right here in the backyard of the old schoolhouse. We're covering artifacts together. A lot of iron in the ground. Hole number seven on the day for me. I'm at 15, 17 on the journey started relic rat about right at three months ago 
documented just just my shovel 1517 holes in about three months so might have more big iron here but it's got a little squeaky tone to it kind of makes me want to say why couldn't there be another button in the ground I think I, I think I just took the big iron, the big iron, big iron piles beside me right here. Look at that. Look at the legend not making a sound over that pile of iron, though. Know? Three, 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 three. That is discrimination. We're gonna call this a poopy signal. Hole number 21 is literally under the poop. So, although I don't have gloves on, I'm gonna try to stay out of the poop think it's probably a bullet or something kind of a nickel type signal so could be something a little round a green pull tab my gosh that's beautiful good morning everybody actually it's round two on the day it's about four o'clock in the afternoon we went and dug about an hour at old schoolhouse too trashy too much junk there um can't believe I did find, that was the second time we've been there. Been there about an hour before and we kind of knew it was trashy. Thought we'd try it again since it was raining, it was in the open. Uh, somebody made me put a hat on, which I'm glad it's off my head now. But anyway, did find one crazy cool old find. Found a cool old flat button. On, only decent thing we found there. It says, I forget what it says, Rhonda. What is it? London Imperial. London Imperial old flat button. Got a little bit of concave convexness to it. But anyway, probably predated the school. The school was early 1900. This is probably uh, at least that, if not older. So anyway, going to get out here in this open field. Still sprinkling a little bit and see if we can find some more stuff. Yeah, that's why I probably bouncing all around. get bigger something in there it's pretty uh -huh. green something pretty green in here green and round yeah kind of round How about that? what is a weird weird lump on it what is it yeah. that's cool turn it over I don't know what that is, Justin. I don't either. Hmm. Don't know. Something cool and old and brass. Something cool. Is it a very, is it a very flattened bullet, maybe? No, that's not no, a bullet. It's not, it's a bullet. not even round. Um, that's a possibility, maybe. But, it, but the, the back's not even round. Yeah, it's green and not white. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, some sort we'll of old brass. Yeah. Very good. Mm, something. Right in the field below a early 1800s home site. Hoping, assuming they would have been doing some farming here 200 years ago. I'm confused, y'all. Which is not unusual. I'm going to target way down there. I wonder if there's some rust or mason jar. Yeah, I'm getting out of the ground. Oh. That sounded mean. I see something green again. Several green targets in a row. How about that? Another, another eight or ten inch green piece of brass. Piece of something. Right there, very well, might be something cool. Ten or twelve inches down. Uh, yeah. Anyway, cool old piece of uh, brass Some strapping with rivets in it. Either tractor related or lantern related. Go low fine. Can y'all see the rain? Once again, deep signal. This is one of the better signals I've had lately and I've dug up about three or four old pieces of brass. So I don't know what this is. Could be a coin, could be a button. I got it out. Might not have been quite as deep as I thought. Another, another old piece of brass. Finding a lot of good, a lot of good target targets, and they're probably is probably old stuff. You don't use a whole lot of brass and copper nowadays in farming. 
So I don't want to drop that off. I'll be digging that up next time we're here. <laughs> cool old piece of brass. Covering stuff together. Better than a beer can. Nice. Head stamp. There you go. All right. Old old head stamp. At least probably 70-ish years old, if not 100 years old or more. Who knows? We'll clean that up at the truck maybe or before we make a video and get that to you. We're covering old head stamps together. Target here. I'll be a bullet. Definitely wasn't deep. I wanted it to be deep, actually. All right, where'd you go, Target? There you are. Oh gosh, that is so nutty. What is it? A nut. A nut. Oh. It's nutty. <laughs> it's a nutty nut nut. Off a tractor or something. Yeah, old tractor part. Actually, probably off a plow. Sit right there. Just a piece Pieces. of brass. Yep. Same deal, another deep signal. As you can see, I'm about to detect right out of my shoe. Justin wouldn't let me bring my tailor with me, so I guess I'm gonna have to make do. If I if I walk completely out of it, I'll just have to go barefoot back to the truck. I had a I had an old pair of tennis shoes I dug in, and they got wet a couple days ago. So now I'm on some backup old tennis shoes, and I don't think I'll be using them anymore. We got holes. Can't see. Too much sweat. Got something right here in the plug, though. Now we got it in the hand. Well, I think that might be cool, y'all. Justin. I think I got something very, very cool. Is that open-ended thimble? Open-ended brass thimble. Oh, really? Open-ended brass thimble. Oh, cool. What do you think? That's it. That's what it is. Very cool. Yep. That's exactly what it is. So we're just digging junk and digging trash and digging out of our shoes. And here comes a brass thimble. Very cool. Recovering artifacts together. A hawk up there on a hay bale. Up oh, there he goes. Headed back to the truck. Got a pure, pure iron signal. I'm just gonna dig an iron signal because I wanted to. Out here in the middle of this old farm field. Pure iron. <laughs> I know. It's funny. It's like a seven to nine on the legend. So. Yep, there it is. Oh no, it's a golf ball. No. <laughs> I don't see a golf ball, but I do see that. Another nut. Another nutty nut nut. The last nut rang up a little better. Nuts, make up your mind. Be iron or don't be iron. Covering artifacts together. Headed back to the truck. So I'm going to dig a couple things because 
last time we were out and we were headed back to the truck which I guess will be on a video before this one. So yeah, I'll be able to say last time we were out and headed back to the truck, dug up a 1917 standing Liberty quarter. So I'm gonna pay attention going back to the truck every time, covering artifacts together. I think I got a piece of roof in here, but Oh, there he is right there. Yep, yep. How about that for a legendary scoop? Roofing! Tiny little signal here. Only beeping one way. And a 200 plus year old site though that I have dug to death. We're gonna see what it is. Up, <clears throat> oh, I see a little something, something. Not round, but I do think it's a piece of brass. All right, y'all, that is a something. It's an old something. <laughs> Can't see. The <laughs> glasses are so fogged up. All right, let's take that off. Is that metal? Is that metal or is that a piece of slate? That's a piece of slate. It looked good coming out of the ground. <laughs> All right, so let's get a pinpointer out and let's do this the right way. That looks so pretty coming out of the ground. Look, piece of slate. All right, we can take our glasses off now and start over. Uh, something there though. We got it out of the ground. I'm glad. Oh, it's a nail. That one's a nail, which is not the signal. Old square nail. It's a schoolhouse. Uh, till we get something cool like that. From Monica Reed. I don't know. Careful, don't hit it too hard. That is a cool little brass something, y'all. And I don't have my... I think it's from Monica Reed. Might could be. <laughs> Well, that's a cool something. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm, could be a little piece of a buckle or something. Anyway, we got, got a little shank right there. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We'll clean that up a little bit more on the tailgate and get back with you. Cool old brass something. We got a little brass piece right behind me. That was a little solid 28, 30 signal here. Okay. Of course, I only got one. Another little piece of brass. Same kind of stuff. No, nah. it's thinner. It's nah. flatter. Same deal. Could be the little end off a knife. Yep. Justin, look little, at this thing right here. That's got a little decorative stuff on it right there at the bottom, maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't think this is anything, although it could have been part of something. This. But that right there is. Oh, yeah, that's something, something. Not a hinge, is it? Almost like a. When I first dug it, I thought harmonica reed, but now I don't think that. So maybe a little piece of brass. Yeah. Piece specific something. I'm not mm -hmm. sure what that is. Hmm. I think this is a pull tab that I'm just digging a woods plug on. Get out of there, pull tab. That's a nice plug. We're pretty close to the road. Yeah. Target, <coughs> target tried to go away. Oh, 51 on the day. I sure would like to get to see. I don't think I'm going to. What just happened? Is it that small? It is that small. Open, oh, it's round and it's green. Did you see it? Little round green thing, Justin. Little round green thing, like a like a dime. No. Penny. It's got edges. All right, I have got to clean some glasses off and look at this, y'all, or we'll never know what it is. It doesn't feel like anything I've ever felt before. 
it's a hammered oh it's a button yep it's a button it's a piece of a two-piece button uh, yep it's the top of a two-piece button all right mm. very cool this feels very crumbly so we're gonna put it in our pocket and check with you at the truck i don't know if it has anything on it can you see anything through I the can't. phone i can't see button anything. i can't see anything So headed out to the road here, headed back to the truck and uh, got an iron signal and spotted it and check that out. So this is the old road. You can see the old, old road, probably wagon road right here. And right here about, this would have been 12 feet up this tree. Old logging chain of some sort, with some cool old hooks in it. I bet it goes all the way around the tree. Look, right there's the rest of it. <laughs> ah, ha, ha, ha. Cool, look at that cool old logging chain i bet they were pulling i bet they were hooking and pulling stuff up the muddy road here the hill to get to the school look at that cool old chain and it was 12 feet up in the tree so they probably hooking up high where they could pull something up the hill yep cool old finds recovering old cool stuff together all right everybody Relic right here, Justin McGee, Rhonda behind the camera. Uh, I rang up 57 holes on day. Started at 1510. So 57 holes later, you're looking at it. Now, we did make a, a pile of big iron out in the field that we're going to go back and get with a bucket later. Um, next time we're at that place, we piled it up next to a tree. But uh, anyway, it's uh, slim pickings. Found some pull tab holders. Um, there's, there's a really nice pull tab holder um old horse ring that was probably nailed to a fence that's kind of cool justin mm -hmm. actually if it'll stay that way it probably won't stay that way some brass stuff some head stamps um dug long and hard this is the this is a two-piece button two-piece button and you cannot tell it's a train till you look on the back of the two-piece button but anyway train train pattern so maybe 100 years old or so old over, overall button that's probably the i've dug several train buttons what i thought was a harmonica and looks like a harmonica but it's very very thick so if that was uh if that's a harmonica reed it's not like any harmonica reed i've ever seen that's that little those little things right there look very specific so don't know what we're looking at there um cool old button that says imperial london imperial london imperial i bet we can figure out a date on that uh, couldn't see any patterns on the front we may do a little more cleaning on it but anyway get y'all a picture by the time the video comes out cool old flat button unexpected in a at, all, at a school that probably wasn't as old as it went to old farm field found a very cool old copper thimble open end thimble most of them were closed but some of them were opal so so they could handle the thread and yet push the needle through with the side couple of head stamps and uh that's about it had a big old time we're soaking wet we're nasty sweaty uh, we'll uh we'll see y'all next time